Hi friends and family, I am Deborah. Welcome to my backyard. We recently had our first freeze and so most things have turned brown and crusty and I need some more space to turn them into compost. Our composter is full because we create a lot of kitchen waste and you know gardening you create a lot of green waste. So what I am trying to do is compost without a composter. I considered for a while whether I should just go ahead and get a second composter and I decided against it because if I did that then I could get three and I could get four and it can keep going. So what I'm doing is digging a ditch. Digging a ditch and filling it full of junk and covering it up and then it should be ready by springtime. So let's dig a ditch. We started out with just completely clay soil and we have been amending it for the past two years and you can tell the first maybe top four inches is decent soil and then you hit the layer of clay. So I'm going to try to break up that layer of clay a little bit so that I can get some organic material in there and fill it up. Anytime I'm digging in the yard, Solomon always asks me if I'm digging for dinosaur fossils, and the answer is always yes. I did the same thing in this last raised bed. I dug a big trench, and then any potted plants that I had that were donezo, they got put in the trench and covered up with dirt. And Adelaide and I, we sprinkled some lettuce seeds that were cold tolerant, and we'll see if they sprout, I don't know. It's just kind of see what happens. It's also reminiscent of when we built our path around our backyard. I had always wanted sort of a circular path and we did it ourselves. You can see it behind me. It goes all the way around the yard and it kind of edges our garden beds as well. But we dug out probably like six inch trench underneath it. It took us several months and I was very pregnant, but we got it done. <laughs> Is this a squash bug? It's massive. It's like two inches. Speaking of squash bugs, our neighborhood actually has a lot of wild growing squash, which took me a long time to realize, but this is what they look like. Have you ever seen this type of squash before? I saw a seed for a squash that looked like this on Baker Creek called a dragon's egg squash. But wow, these are so weird. I haven't cut it open Mama, yet. Mama, are those eggies? Are they eggies? I don't know. They just look like eggs. I think they're real. Can I have them? All right, so I got a nice layer of marigolds in and now I'm gonna cover it up with dirt and move on to the next section. Then once I get around to it, I'm going to put more extra compost on top that I don't have access to right now, but once I get some, I'll sprinkle a new layer over the top. All covered up. How do you guys do your compost? Do you have a compost bin or a pile or do you use pallets? Do you have different ways that you do it? What do you do? All right. Well, thanks for joining me in the backyard. Hope you guys have a good day. Love you. Bye-bye. Is that mommy? Uh-oh. Watch out. Look at my log of clay. 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 Look at my log of clay.